The term fixed asset turnover ratio refers to the operating performance metric that shows how efficiently a company is utilizing its fixed assets like machinery and equipment to generate sales. In other words, this ratio is used to determine the amount of dollar revenue generated by each dollar of available fixed assets. The fixed asset turnover ratio formula is expressed as the subject company's net sales divided by the average value of its net fixed assets which is mathematically represented as, fixed asset turnover ratio, equals to, net sales, divided by, average net fixed assets. Let's take an example to understand the calculation of the fixed asset turnover ratio in a better manner. Let us take the example of two companies ABC, and XYZ. To illustrate the concept of fixed asset turnover ratio, both companies belong to the same industry of ice cream manufacturing. Calculate the fixed assets turnover ratio of both of those businesses on the basis of the given information. Also, calculate which company utilizes its fixed assets better. According to the latest annual reports, the following information is available as we can see on this table. Now, let's move in to solve this problem. The average net fixed assets is calculated using the formula, average net fixed assets, equals to, summation of the opening net fixed assets and the closing net fixed assets divided by 2. For the company ABC, average net fixed assets, equals to, opening net fixed assets of $20 million, plus closing net fixed assets of $24 million, divided by 2, which gives an average net fixed assets of $22 million. Again, for company XYZ, average net fixed assets, equals to, opening net fixed assets of $22 million, plus closing net fixed assets of $26 million, divided by 2, which gives an average net fixed assets of $24 million. Now, fixed asset turnover ratio is calculated using the formula, fixed asset turnover ratio, equals to, net sales, divided by, Average net fixed assets. So, for company ABC, fixed asset turnover ratio equals to net sales of $50 million divided by average net fixed assets of $22 million, which gives fixed asset turnover ratio of 2.27 for the company ABC. Again, for company XYZ, fixed asset turnover ratio equals to net sales of $70 million divided by Average net fixed assets of $24 million, which gives fixed asset turnover ratio of 2.92 for the company XYZ. Therefore, fixed asset turnover ratio of company XYZ is higher than that of company ABC, which indicates that company XYZ was more effective in the use of its fixed assets during that given year. Let us take another example of company XYZ now. This shows the annual report for the year 2019 and illustrate the computation of the fixed asset turnover ratio. During the year, the company booked net sales of $260,174 million, while its net fixed assets at the start and end of 2019 stood at $41,304 million and $37,378 million respectively. Calculate fixed assets turnover ratio of company XYZ based on the given information. To solve this problem, we already know that average net fixed assets is calculated using the formula, average net fixed assets, equals to, summation of the opening net fixed assets and the closing net fixed assets divided by 2. Now, average net fixed assets, equals to, Opening net fixed assets of $41,304 million, plus closing net fixed assets of $37,378 million, divided by 2, which gives an average net fixed assets of $39,341 million. Now, fixed asset turnover ratio is calculated using the formula, fixed asset turnover ratio, equals to, net sales, divided by. Average net fixed assets. So, fixed asset turnover ratio equals to net sales of $260,174 million divided by average net fixed assets of $39,341 million, 
which gives fixed asset turnover ratio of 6.61 for the company XYZ. Therefore, fixed asset turnover ratio of company XYZ was 6.61 times for the year 2019.